2020 was a shocker. So to cheer myself up, I've gone and got a load of new gear. Hi guys, welcome back to Match Fishing TV UK. I'm Dan. Um, first of all, Happy New Year to everybody. We're finally in 2021. Hopefully we can put 2020 to bed um, and have a much more positive year. I'm certainly hoping so. On the fishing side, and particularly with this channel, got some quite exciting news uh, for you guys. So first of all, we've hit 360 subscribers in six months, which is not bad at all considering it's probably been the worst time to try and launch a YouTube fishing channel. Um, lack of matches, uh, lockdowns, etc. It's been really tough getting the content out there, but we've done it. We've got up to 360, so thank you for all of you that have subscribed. We've invested in some new camera equipment for this year, so the, uh, the pictures should be a bit clearer for you. I'm gonna get out and do some more open matches, I've got certain aspirations around the open matches for 2021 that I'm going to enter and a few um, kind of tough goals that I want to hit. Got some new gear, um, so Christmas has been quite kind, um, asked for a lot of vouchers. Actually offloaded a lot of old kit as well on eBay, uh, got a decent amount of money for that and have purchased um, some new kit. You will notice that in some of the previous videos that I've done, I've said don't be a tackle tart necessarily go and get what's best for you well you will notice that there is one particular brand um, that I've gone for in this instance um, I will put a precursor on that though got a fantastic deal on the seat box uh, and the luggage I'd had my eye on for a little while uh, and that's all been offset so I've not spent a penny more than anything I've sold or anything that I've got in vouchers uh, but I am going to be sort of uh, one brand at the moment so yes I am going to be a tackle tart I don't care it looks good though um, I'll give you a clue, I, I really like lime green, so uh, there you go. So I'll run you through that in a little bit. Um, aspirations wise, as I say for this year, I've been pretty consistent on a club level for some time now. Uh, only did seven or eight matches last year. Uh, I think there were, there were two open matches. I think I had a ninth place and a tenth place and they're sort of 20 plus peggers, so not, not too bad midfield. Um, on the club side I did um, three four matches and I think I had three third places and a fourth uh, which wasn't too bad from the place from the areas that I drew I, I I'm consistent at club level so I now want to take that up to the next level so the open matches I really want to push on first of all I want to have a top three finish uh, in 2021 and second, I really want to push it uh, towards the back end of 2021. I'd like to be in a position where I potentially win one because I think it's about time now. So I'm going to be doing all that I can to improve my, my learning and my knowledge over this next year. You can join me on that journey as well. I'm, a, I'm an aspiring match angler. I'm not a bad one, um, but I'm not at that level yet. But I am pushing hard to get there, as so many others are at the moment. I'm sure a lot of you can identify with that. So... Let me run you through the gear that I've bought uh, for this season coming. I'm really confident in, in how I'm going to be setting up on the bank. Um, got a new 13 foot feeder rod as well, a new census one uh, to, for those longer casts. So a couple of the venues I do, I was just a little bit kind of lacking distance with a 12 foot rod. Um, so I've gone and got a 13 foot rod, so we'll put that through its paces soon. Um, so let's go and have a look at my gear. So you join me in the garage now. Um, it's absolutely freezing. It's, uh, it's got to be zero degrees um, out here at the moment. But I wanted to show you the uh, new stuff that I've gone and got. So as I said, it's uh, one particular brand I've gone for. Um, a lot of my old stuff's gone now. So my old seat box disappeared. Um, a couple of other bits and pieces to sort of fund this, along with some vouchers. But uh, let me let me show you what I'm going to be sitting on this year. So I went out and I got a Matrix S25 seat box. So S25, um, obviously got the smaller legs than the S36. So the 25 is the 25 mil legs. Why the 25 mil legs? Well, to be honest, 
I got a great deal on the box, being a 25, um, but I wasn't that obsessed with getting a 36 anyway. 36 legs, I think if you're out in the water a lot, if you're fishing off platforms, that sort of thing, makes absolute sense, but I've been quite happily using 25 mil legs for a long time now and never had a problem, but look at the box, it's gorgeous. I love the color. Now I picked up this box and wait for it for 288 pounds brand new. Now usually you will struggle to find it any less than 350. I got it from a site called Fish Deal. Never ever bought anything from them in the past. Was a little bit skeptical. Absolutely perfect. Bought it. Arrived in five days. I actually shared the details on maggot drowners i think because uh, another guy was looking for a matrix box and uh fish deal stock managed to get cleared out within a few days it was just an unbelievable deal so there's the box um, the standard sort of clip fittings see I've, I've started putting a few bits and pieces in here already love it got my accessories already on i'm not changing the accessories that i'm using so i'm going to stick with the preston snap lock stuff because i just find it's um it's really good hard wearing stuff um got the old brolly supports on there run you around so it's just a good looking box isn't it so that's what i'm going to be spending a lot of my time sitting on this year Now I said, obviously, um, I've gone for one particular brand, so I've bought three additional pieces of stuff. The first one is um, large Aquos uh, Carriol. So I had had a look at a couple of these in um, Tackle Shop um, over the past six months or so, and I just really liked the look of them. I like the capacity. Um, I've been using the Preston Pro Competition bag and that was pretty good but it wasn't quite as sort of squared off as this one is if that makes sense i just think it's a lot neater to carry things in i've put a lot of stuff in this one now already just so you can get a sort of idea of of its size and its capacity let me just stick it on the box there for you so it's a big old beast it's 55 litre uh, carry all but that will do everything that I need it to do it's got side pocket each side it's got a nice little front pocket here you know I, I won't usually have a net in there because I've got an EVA uh, net bag but yeah so that's the carry all in terms of the other bits uh, that I've got so I've actually got the EVA net bag on the way because I needed a new one um, but I also went and got the bait bag now it's a bit of a luxury this one but I actually I just really like the size and what I thought was if you look at the um, winder tray storage underneath the box I don't I don't often use that if I'm being honest I certainly didn't on my old box I didn't know how useful it would be so I thought if I got something of this sort of size if I have those bits that would go in that under sort of tray storage and um, they could probably go in here so any sort of um, additional stuff can go in there I've got adequate space in the box itself for you know pole winders and stuff like that so that's all good the last thing I did buy uh, which is not matrix so as you would gather I'm, I'm, I'm pretty matrixed up now is um, I've got a great deal on these so these are the cadence cn4 keep nets and it was uh, two for 45 pounds i think on their website and i've done a lot of reading up and again maggot drowning i think was one of the main ones um, that i'd seen these advertised on but i needed some more keep nets i've got three keep nets at the moment they're on the way out um, obviously with net limits and stuff you need to have a few on you um, so i needed some new ones so from what i've seen i haven't used them yet but i've had a good look to see if there's any sort of damage or holes or anything they look really really good quality keep nets so um two for 45 pounds it was buy one get one free so if you're watching this go onto the cadence website and um they only sell direct they don't sell through angling direct or anybody like that have a look see if you can um pick up their buy one get one free deal i've certainly been very impressed so far um 
being a full-on tackle tart obviously I've got my matrix side tray that I've been using for a good year now underneath there so I'm going to be all matching so there you go so that's all my stuff um, I'm really looking forward to what 2021 brings I'm certainly going to be equipped well on the bank um, so wish me luck and good luck to you with all your fishing and once again hope you have a great new year um, let's all put 2020 behind us catch you soon on the channel